welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we are going to start the woodwork in the back of the van. So this will officially be part three of the Smart Repair Van Build. And hopefully, as soon as the woodwork's done, uh, we're moving along double lively, uh, fitting everything in. Uh, I can't do no more. As you saw in the other videos, I'm kind of waiting now on the woodwork. Um, luckily, I rang my mate this morning and he said, come up today and we'll make a start on it. So uh, he's going to fit me in in between some jobs. So I'm on my way over there now. Um, yeah, as soon as the woodwork's done, <coughs> I can then fit things, bolt things down and start filling the van up. This weather is atrocious. Gal force winds and hammering down the rain. I think we can back my van in his workshop, luckily enough, um, to get that sorted. I'm glad that I got it uh, all polished up over the weekend, so we're done now. Um, <laughs> some ceramic coated, all the rain's beating off it, so it's lovely. So yeah, uh, I'll try and film what I can uh, and show you sort of what we're doing, uh, and it'll all become apparent as it starts getting built so you'll see what's happening uh, and what we've chosen to sort of go with to sort of maximize the space in the van it's uh, it's not easy to build a van this small and you've got a lot of things to think about um, and, and you've got to make things accessible as well which is difficult and I'm a fussy bugger and I, and I like things to be how I want them so <laughs> it's gonna be fun right I'll get over there and I'll speak to you in a bit Simon's working his mojo. Get a bit of flooring down first, and then we, we're working out the rest and what the best stuff's going to be. Let him crack on doing what he's doing, and I'll come back and update you. Right, guys. New floor done. I've got my little shelf in now. Um, got to go back tomorrow. He's got to nip out now. He's run out of time. Put me shelving across there. Racking across there and try and utilise as much of the space as possible. We've chucked a little reveal there so it can't, the crate won't slide off, plus it's going to have a lid across the top of it all. Yeah, get in there. Um, trying to maximise as much of the space as, as I can. Um, going to take all my other bits up that we need to screw on and um, get in place tomorrow. Um, hopefully tomorrow um, all the woodwork should be done everything should be bolted down so yeah I'll update you uh, tomorrow next shelf getting done now going across the top uh, and then we've got some more bits to sort out that's all bolted in absolutely solid now a little bottle holder up there um, Power lead's probably going to go on there. Not set in stone yet. I've made sure we've got room for both my heat lamps. Uh, yeah. I'll update you in a bit. I'll oh, uh, show you around here. I've got our um, wire everything up and what have you. Get it all back into situ. But um, yeah, everything's sort of in where it's going to live now. And it'll be sweet. Bit of racking up there now, all fixed. Um, got a bit of boarding at the back so we can do the top shelf over there. We are getting somewhere. Yeah. Lots more Tetris to be played. I'm on level 78 right now. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go, guys. So, I've got my little pot up there to put my bits in. Spray my holders. Can mix up there. Got my other cabinet there. The side still flips down. Aerosol can holder over there. Uh, I've just strapped that there for a second so I'm going home. Put all my drawers back in. Gun holders over there. Obviously I sit on my stall perfect tight and mix my paint and stuff up there. Other side, I'm gonna fix a couple of hoops so I can put my power cable around the other side. Let me go around the other side, I'll show you. 
Right, so I'm going to put a couple of hooks up here so I can hang my power cable there. Uh, just fix that down there temporarily. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it on the bulkhead or leave it down there. But uh, yeah, I can obviously access what, my shelf and stuff here, but I'm going to put, I'm sure my finners and stuff's going up here and my lacquer kit. So there's my little space for mixing paints and stuff, spray guns, all my spray gun bits and cleaning stuff will be up here. Um, yeah, all of the stuff is built that I needed building. And now it's a case of uh, doing the other bits. I've got to wire up my main stuff, plumb in the rest of the air system. I have done the majority of it. I've just got to do fittings up and stuff like that. So I've routed the way that I've routed all the air system around. So yeah, a bit more finessing and tweaking. But um, yeah, pretty good. Plug in down there, pair there, extension lead there. Right, it's the next morning. Um, gonna get on with wiring up the mains electric. I've got to go and get my wire out. Uh, we've got to earth the fuse board. I've ordered some uh, proper pipe clips for my air system. So I've just got Jubilee clips on there at the moment and they're not the greatest. And they crush the pipe and can split it. I've ordered some proper pipe clips. So when you tighten up, it uh, tightens the pipe evenly. I ordered them with Amazon, so they should be here before 1 p.m. today. So I'm gonna go and get all my wire out of the shed. Um, we're gonna mount the plug socket, wire up the other one, earth the fuse board. So I'll probably have to slide the dryer out, pull the gazebo out, get that done. Uh, I've also got some bulbs to change on the car. Um, and we've got reversing camera to fit and a dash cam to fit. Um, and once the plumbing and electric's done, then we can start putting kit in the van, back in the drawers, back in everywhere where it's got fit. Um, so I'm gonna go grab my wire. We try and get this mains hook up wired in properly and all the plugs fitted where I want them. Right. Double socket up there. One double, double, oh, double, <laughs> double socket down there. That's all wired in, that's all sorted. And um, my mains hook up runs round down there and I plug it in through the side door. Uh, I've pulled the dryer out so I can get access to my pipe work. I'm changing them Jubilee clips for the proper pipe clips. And then the one off the front of the tank of the compressor. And then obviously round to the filters around there. They'll have all the proper pipe clips on them. So we're just waiting for them to turn up and then we can crack on with that. So um, pretty much done here until my delivery comes. So uh, I've got a few other bits to do. I'm gonna crack on with them. Um, probably gonna start the wiring for the reversing camera. Right, the little reversing camera's on. Uh, that's above my pay grade. You need um, like special rods to poke through the loom and stuff. Um, so I rang my mate, he does that sort of stuff for a living. He's gonna help me sort that. So we're gonna get on with replacing the wing mirror. Um, I'm gonna have to strip the door card off to access the bolts at the top. And I've got my new wheel trims there. We can get them on. I can't really do much inside the van until my uh, pipe clips have come and then I can put the dryer away and everything else away and then everything in the van so let's crack on with things that I can get on with oh I've just done the headlight bulbs I've upgraded them to some LED bulbs uh, let's tackle this door card uh, I haven't done a connect one in ages but there's normally a bolt in the middle at the bottom uh, possibly something behind that trim can't remember and there'll be a screw up there behind the door handle so uh, yeah, let me get that stripped out and I'll show you. Yeah, I was right. There's a little sneaky one in there. Uh, one at the bottom, they're all T20s. I pulled the cap off, two in there, and then the one over there. Uh, and then you have to give it a bit of a tug, pop the clips off. I've just popped three bungs out here and it looks like 
we've got three eight mils in there holding the wing mirror on so uh, i'll get them removed now and then we can uh, clip the new one on over there <laughs> i've never been so happy to fit a wing mirror <laughs> it looks so much better he looks awful with that thing on <laughs> It's only a pattern part, it was 75 quid, but um, yeah, plenty good enough. All right, let's unbox these, get the new hub caps on. Oh, it's like having a brand new motor, fresh wheel treats. <laughs> Looks a bit better. All right, Amazon's just been, I'm gonna go and uh, Get me pipe fits, went and crack on with the plumbing. We're getting closer and then when you start putting stuff in, yeah, see you in a while. I'm letting a professional do this part. <laughs> He's got all the equipment. He literally channeled all my wiring through there. He's going to wire up the um, power for the camera. It's, it's not my fault. Right. Electrician, so I let him do that. <laughs> he just laughed at me. He's here for an immobiliser anyway. He's doing all my immobiliser and everything. And I went, do us a favour. <laughs> he just laughed at me. So yeah, I'm going to let him crack on with that. And then uh, I'll update you in a bit. Here's a posh screen. That's very reflective as well. It's meant to be a mirror. Yeah, there we go. Call back. <laughs> Love it. Can I change the word into van back? <laughs> there we go. She's fitted. Right, that is that done. Turn this down before we get copyright. Um, Mobiliser sorted. All I've got to do now is put my kit in, arrange it, try and sort it. Uh, I had a little bit of an air leak. Um, one of the fittings in the back of the dryer. Uh, I see if there's an alternative for it. It's very, very difficult to um, go from one inch down. That's the size of the pipe work. Um, but yeah, we made progress. I um, got to get back because the missus is going to work. So that is it for part three. Um, and the next one should be the finale, hopefully. Should be all done, everything in. It's going to take a bit of organising and sorting out. Oh, I forgot I've got a reversing camera now. <laughs> That's pretty nifty. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Everything's functional. Everything works as it should. Bear with, I'm just reversing up against the fence. Perfecto, millimetre perfect. Um, yeah, so that is it from me today. Um, as always, a massive thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon on the next one, and then uh, we'll be out there sorting out some cars. So, uh, yeah, as always, massive thanks for watching. If I just said that, my brain's all over the place today. <laughs> see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.